guys, Miss Charlie here with my next project pan from May and what I'm going to be using for June. Um, so this is the box that I used for the month of May and we're going to go through the items and see what my progress was. For primers, I have my primer spray from LA Girl. This is their prep and hydrate face for makeup. That, that, that's a weird sentence, but that's what it is. And it's from here down to here. And I use this before makeup and also to set my powders and also to spray any eyeshadows if needed. Got this at uh, CVS with my rewards. And then I have the Cookies and Cream Prime Putty Primer from e.l.f. It's a really nice primer. You only need a little bit. It's very smoothing. It smells like cookies. It smells delicious. And I really enjoy this. But I don't, I wouldn't get a backup, but I'm not gonna run out of this for quite a while. So those were my primers for May. For lip treatments, my eye cream and my moisturizer. Moisturizer, I use this pretty, pretty fitter. Pretty fitter. I didn't know that said pretty fitter. F I T T E R, pretty fitter. Okay. Pretty fitter water glow cream. This kind of reminds me of the Peter Thomas Roth water cream. It's very light. I don't need a heavy moisturizer for this time of year because it is now very humid here. So I don't need a oops, this won't come out. I won't, I don't need a heavy moisturizer. This is very light. You just need a tiny bit. It'll take you a lot to use this up. Has a nice light scent, but I really enjoy this from Touch and Soul. My eye cream is from First Aid Beauty. This is their hydrating eye cream with hyaluronic acid. Really enjoyed this as well. I got this in a boxy charm. For my lip scrub, I use this Be Pure Peppermint Lip Scrub. They also had the lip oil that went with it, but I have plenty of lip oils. And a lot of this is air, but it does have quite a bit of product in it. It was only $1.25, but it's, got, it's a nice, good scrub to get that dead skin off and it also tastes good as like peppermint and then this w7 lip drink lip treatment oil this was really nice i got this at cvs with my points as well and it is a roller ball it does take a minute for it to come out but once you get it out it is you do have to put quite a bit on it feels more like a Vaseline than a lip oil, which I found very weird, but it did the job, kept my lips smooth and hydrated, and I also use this in my nighttime skincare. For foundations, I use the Milani Squeen, Squeen, screen queen in toasted tawny it's down to here this is a very thick very heavy foundation so it's good to mix it with something that's a little bit more hydrating and this one here is the hydrating can't read that gold writing hydrating serum foundation from be pure and they're endlessly ageless um collection that they have at the dollar tree and I've seen this for quite a while, but never in a color that might match me. But I saw this one and I'm like, I can mix this with something. So they finally got some deeper colors out. So I mixed these two together and they worked absolutely fine. For concealers, I picked up the Maybelline um, Instant, Rewind, Instant Rewind Eraser. This one is in 130. There's no shade name, just 130. I took the little poof off like I always do and just squeeze it out and put it on a little piece of plastic that I have to blend concealers and things like that on. This one mixed with this one, which is the e.l.f. Camel Concealer in Deep Chestnut. These worked great together. This is more coverage. This is, this is a, a medium to full this one is pretty full so you mix these together you don't need but a little bit 
and and it goes a long way and it I also use this on no makeup days just all over the face and you know just to even up my skin tone and then put powder on it and it worked just beautifully like using it as a foundation For brows, I used the Retractable Brow Pencil from Wet n Wild. Got this at CVS as well. And it's one of those weird tear-shaped ones. And it works just fine. Just need to outline. Doesn't have to be, you know, really dark or anything. And this is in medium brown and then it has a spoolie on the end. Still using my color pop, not my color pop, my Kat Von D brow powder mix that I made out of eyeshadows. And then the W7 brow grip, instant brow grip. This is really nice. This reminds me of the NYX glue that I have. This one works equally as well and it's a little bit cheaper. So if you see this at your CVS, try it. I think it's only like three or four dollars and it works just fine. And the brush, there's the brush, it's very small. And you do have to take off some of the product, but it kept my brow hairs in place and I would repurchase this. For my powders, I have this Be Pure Infused Pressed Powder. It's just a white powder and I wanted to hit pan. I was hitting pan the last time I used it and I made that pan a bit bigger and it's just a nice translucent type powder it does not leave a flashback on me and it doesn't leave a white cast on my skin tone and then the flower light illusion this one is in soft sand I got this at TJ Maxx it's a nice finishing powder mixed with this one I mix them together it's got a little bit of a dip in it and it does come with a little a little poof and a mirror but I really enjoyed this powder it's very finely milled and these two together made my skin look so nice for bronzer contour and highlight and blush I have the LYS this is their matte bronzer in Worthy. I use this as a contour because it is so deep. I did not weigh this because you only need to tap your brush in there and you're good. So this will not have any weight on it um, because mostly I used this one, which is from Pure. This comes in a set of two contour, contour bronzer and two highlights. Got rid of the highlights. I still have the other um, contour bronzer and I wanted to get this panned by the end of the year because I really really like this powder so I'm gonna keep it in for June as well but you can see there it's just on the edges and you only need to dip your brush in and it's very pigmented pure face products are very very nice and they, their contour and bronzers are really really pigmented so I'm trying to get this used up by the end of the year then I have these blushes from Ofra. I um, have one that's more of a coral and then this one that is more of a like a lilac and I did mix them sometimes and they were very pretty on the skin. You can build them. I'll put the names of them right here because I don't want I don't feel like trying to take them out and put them back in. But they're very nice and these came in the um, in this palette right here I'll put a picture of it right here it came in this palette so I just took those out and just used them singly for contour I use this complex culture uh, pleasure points baked highlighter and bronze quad this is what she looks like this is too red for me. I use this as a con as a bronzer and these two are beautiful highlights. This one is more of a copper. This one is more of a gold. And 
and you can also use those on your eyes as well or inner corner for another blush I have is my elf this is the primer infused blush and always rosy got this from Dollar Tree and this is a very nice blush that you can build which I also mixed with the other ones as well and then these two highlights from Becca this one is in opal and this one is in Prosecco pop this one is more of a neutral highlight and then this one Prosecco pop is more of a gold So those were bronzer, blush, highlight, and contour for me. Okay, now we have eye primer, mascara, and liners. For a pencil liner, I have this Live High Definition Gel Eyeliner. Very small and skinny and very nice and creamy. Enjoyed this. And on the other end, it does have a brush, a little liner brush. For liquid liners, I pulled out the Chula uh, one in brown. I love these. They're hard to open though very hard to open but this is just a nice chocolatey brown looking for a good brown this is a nice one the II Captain liquid liner from W7 got the set um, uh, CVS with points as well this has a harder tip on it but it is still very nice and black and I use it with a liner brush. Trying to use up this uh, Chella dual liner. Has a blue on one side and a black. The blue's already dried up. The black is very nice and still going. I thought it was out, but it's still going. And it is a uh, brush tip, which I really enjoy. A good brush tip, and that's a good one. Mascaras, I'm keeping the same mascaras in because I don't want to open anything up because I have quite a few that haven't been opened and I want to continue using these until they are no longer usable. I have the Fully Charged from Pure. This one is very nice. You do have to clean this off because it gets very, very gunky with product. You can see there's a lot of product on there that I have to clean off before using it because it will leave little balls on the end of your lashes but that's what the brush looks like I like the formula it keeps my lashes curled because I have naturally curly lashes and I like to keep that lift the Deli Plus uh, volume curl XL from Deli Plus this is my favorite I love this and I love this wand which is really weird and intimidating to some people but it lifts and it makes you look like you have false lashes so this is still going so I'm gonna keep using it and then the El Maquillage this one is also a favorite and that is what the brush looks like on this one and it also gives me great curl and lift so I'm gonna keep these in for the month of of June and then for eye primer I use the Ace Beauté eyeshadow uh, primer in deep this you only need the tiniest bit for one eye I'm just gonna barely put anything here that right there that's all you need that will cover your eyelid and you have to work fast because it does dry pretty quickly so you want to work fast so it doesn't um, you know get too because as it dries it's going to get thicker and it's going to be hard to blend so you want to put it on and and get it blended out 
but I do love this eye primer. Then lastly, we have my setting spray, which is from Rude Cosmetics. This is their Shine Control Mist Matte Spray. Very nice. The spray is a little aggressive. I might put this in a different bottle next time I use it, but I used it and it did keep my makeup on. I had no problems with it whatsoever. Um, so I would repurchase this. I think I got this at uh, TJ Maxx. Or did I get, I can't remember if I got a T. I I think I got a TJ Maxx, I think. Okay, so this is what's in the box for June. We're gonna go through what I'll be using for this month. For my primer spray, I'm just gonna go ahead and use up this LA Girl that I was using in May, cause there's only this much left. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use this up. For my face primer, I'm gonna use this Dominique Cosmetics Blur and Moisture Serum Primer. It comes like this with the pump. That's what it looks like. Very nice and light. So this will be great for this time of year. So I'm pulling that out again. For my moisturizer, I brought out the Peter Thomas Roth, which is just like the one from Touch and Soul. So water, this is their water drench. Very light for this time of year. Don't need anything heavy. So we're pulling that one out. For concealers, I'm bringing out both of my uh, Born This Ways from Too Faced. This one is in golden and this one is in caramel. And both of these together will fit me perfectly. You have a lot in here. This will last you forever. So if you're not looking to purchase concealer for a long time, get you a couple of these. You'll be good for a long time. For foundations, I'm going to bring in, well, this is a this one is a concealer, so I'm gonna use this one too, so bring it in. This is a sample of the Sephora Best Skin Ever um, Concealer. This one is in 3UP. I got a sample of it from Sephora. So I'm gonna bring that in to use Was my one of my concealers. And then I also have a sample of the new Laura Mercier foundation. This one is in 4N2T. So I'm going to bring that in as a foundation to mix with my CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made in D20. This is in True Caramel. This is a very cool toned um, color. And then the Tom Ford. This is in Golden Almond, the Shade and Illusion Foundation. I got this in a uh, Influencer a few years ago. I really like it. I can only use this during humid times like uh, summer and fall. Can't use this in the, I mean, spring and, and summer. I can't use this when it starts, the air starts drying out because it emphasizes texture on my on my skin because when I got this I it was in the fall and I tried it and I was like I don't like this because it was emphasizing things then I tried it again when the weather was a little bit more humid and it really made my skin look really nice and flawless and it's light so I'm using it now because it is June and it is summer so these two together will make a good color for me and then also mixing it with the new Laura Mercier to try it out to see how I like it. If you have tried the new Laura Mercier, let me know your thoughts about it. For my lip treatment, I brought up my other cab lip oil. This one is in lemon. There's still quite a bit in there and it's set on its side, so you can't really tell what's in there. I'll set it up like this and we'll see where we are. But I love these. I used up the lime one and the Lucky Chick Lip Scrub. This is reminds me of the one from e.l.f. The brown sugar scrub this is really nice it's nice and gritty it doesn't um, dissipate or melt as soon as you put it on your lips because I like the scrubbiness because sometimes you can get them and they have scrubbies in them as soon as you put them on your lips they just melt no I want the scrubbies to stay and then I'll wipe them off but yeah I really enjoy this lip scrub and this is in a sweet vanilla 
for eye cream i have my elemis pro, pro collagen advanced eye treatment i really like this comes in a pump this is where i am right now takes only a tiny bit it'll take me a while to use this this has been in a project pan a couple of times but it is really nice and hydrating i use this before makeup and also in my nighttime um, skin care routine for powder I have this Be Pure Essentially Ageless Blurring Pressed Powder, and this is in translucent. Kind of reminds me of the one that I had in my other one, this one here, the infused one. They're both white powders. This one says infused, but it doesn't say infused with what. Um, but this one is saying translucent, so they might just be the same thing, just marketed differently. Who knows because they're still by be pure but i'm gonna try it out and see how it goes with this one and then bringing out my full spectrum cover girl matte ambition powder in tan golden this collection is no longer available i love this powder it's very finely milled as you can see where my pan is i'm gonna try to get this used up hopefully by the end of the year or next couple project pans i really like it Again, I can't get this color anymore. I found some at Dollar Tree that kind of matched it and I do have those and I did pass one on to a friend as well who liked this powder, but you can't get this anymore. So I hope they bring it back because this collection was formulated for women of color and then they just took it away. So, and the products were really, really nice. So I hope they either reformulate or rebrand or rebring this this collection out because I really really liked it for brows still have my little KVD powder blend bringing out the wet and wild pomade in brunette it has the little brush in the lid so it's easier for you to use so you can use it you know like this like a pencil and then that is what's in there so far and I just put a little bit of door line in there or mixing medium and it works just fine so I really like this really inexpensive the wet and wild color icon pencil in Sema brow now my ride or die brow pencil I've used this for so many years and I have backups of this and it's just a brown pencil you can use this for a lip liner an eyeliner and a brow liner the ABH brow gel in I can't read that hold on a second hold please I got this cute little magnifier at the Dollar Tree and it's cute and you can just light it it lights up so that you can see things I love it so this is in the color dark brown and I've had her for a while so I think this might be her last go round for a project pan it's a tiny brush so we're gonna give her one more go the elf instant lift brow pencil this is in hold on deep brown and it's a cooler tone than the Seema brow, but it works. I just need something to outline my brows and it also has a spoolie. This is very inexpensive. I think this is like two or three dollars maybe. And I got this with my points at CVS. This one here, this is the wax pencil from e.l.f. I got this from Dollar Tree, or I might've gotten that pencil at Dollar Tree too. And it's just a wax pencil that you put through your brows and then comb them down. Um, to help keep them down so I'm gonna try to get some use out of this because you don't need much and there's quite a lot in here so we're gonna try to get some use out of this one for my brows for contour blush highlight and bronzer um, for blush I have this half cake in bloom this is in day and night it's a nice it can be cool or warm toned but on my skin tone, it is a little bit more cooler. It's like a, a little bit like a rosy color. So I always have a cool tone and a warm tone. My warm tone blush is this one here. 
try to move this light so it's not blinding. Um, this is from the Tinkerbell collection, ColourPop. This is in Darling. And this is more of a apricot or coral. And it is a blush with a sheen. So it has a nice sheen to it. So that would be my warm tone and my cool tone blushes. Then I have this bronzer. This is a super sock, super sock, super shock bronzer in Paradise City from ColourPop, which I use as a contour. See the dip in there. Can you see that? Very pretty, very nice. And it does not disrupt my uh, foundation or my powder or anything like that when I use it. For bronzer, I have the Viseart bronzer in this cute little container. It's so cute, great for travel. Traveled with this many times and it's magnetic. And you just open it up and you can buy these separately so that you can interchange them out to whatever you wanna put in there. And it's a nice bronzer. the component for a powder contour I have the full spectrum cover girl um, matte ambition this one is in deep cool which will be my powder powder my powder contour it's really a foundation but I'm gonna use it as a contour and then for my highlights I have a cool and a warm this is the Wet n Wild All Grown Up, All Glown Up, excuse me, and then Written in the Stars. These are their pot ones, which you don't, if, if you are someone who is on a budget and does not like to spend money on makeup, but likes to have everything they need, Wet n Wild is great because these will last you till your grandkids have grandkids. These are so nice. You'd only need a tiny bit, and they give you a crap ton. This one is in Written in the Stars, which is the cool tone. That's so pretty. And then All Glown Up is the warm tone more of a peachy champagne, a little bit of copper in there. Those are so pretty, so pretty. And you don't need but a tad, tad. You could buy this and share this with your girlfriends. You know, you all could go in on one and split this three or four ways and you will still never need any. But those are my highlights for the month of June. For my eyeliners and eye primer, I'm using the LA Colors uh, Eye Primer in Matte. This got, this got, got this from the Dollar Tree. And it's a very nice primer, it's matte. You don't need but a tiny bit. Come on out of there. It's been sitting on its side, so it doesn't want to come out there. There we go. If you need something in a pinch, you can use this. And it does have a cast, so it does not blend out to absolute sheerness. But that's okay, you're gonna cover it up anyway. For liner, I have my Essence Super Precise Eyeliner in black. I love these. This is a new one. It's got that very thin brush tip, so you can get precise get in between your lashes, things like that. Love these, these are like $3.99. And then the Wet n Wild Color Icon Pencil in Baby Got Black. Again, a ride or die, I've used these for years. I use this as a lip liner, an eyeliner, and a brow liner. You can if you have darker brows. But those were eye primer and liners. 
Lastly, I have my setting sprays. I'm gonna use both of these. I'm gonna pour this into this bottle. This is the Professional uh, Super Setter. This is amazing, and the mist on here is so fine. It's so good. I need to get a backup of this. And then the Milani Fruit Fetish. This one is in Kiwi Watermelon. I also have um, the other one. I have to put the, the, the scent that I have here on the screen, but I have two of those, and I get these at TJ Maxx. Sometimes you get them on clearance if you're if you're looking, but these are really nice. It's just the Make It Last spray with the scent. The Make It Last ones are a little expensive to me when I go to the to the drugstore, but when I find these, it's a little better of a deal to me. And they smell great, and they do make your makeup last all day. But these are the two that I have, and this one is down here, and this one is down here so I'm just gonna pour this into the professional and get these used up all right so that's what I'm using for the month of June and my progress from May thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me I do appreciate it if you like project pans let me know if you do them I would love to watch yours let me know if you've used any of these products and your thoughts anything I should try Give me your input. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. Follow me on Instagram as well. I love chatting with you there as well. Love making new friends here on these platforms. Again, I appreciate you all so much. Thanks for hanging out. Like, share, and subscribe. Follow me here on YouTube and on Instagram. And we'll see you in the next video.